Well, Rabbi, uh, crosses have been placed to celebrate and honor and remember those lost in that violent rampage. Remember, the community did have a vigil this afternoon to come together to support one another and to share thoughts and their pain as well. Meanwhile, the suspect accused in these violent attacks did appear in court, and we are learning more about a possible motive for the crime. The community of Rockford is in mourning as it remembers the tragic loss of so many. Dozens attended the afternoon vigil to remember those killed when authorities say Christian Soto went on a violent stabbing and beating rampage. Soto has been charged with first degree murder, attempted first degree murder, and home invasion for now. The charges that I'm listing today, um, there may be more charges, and, and I think there probably will be more charges at the time that we present this to the grand jury. The coroner's office identifies the victims as 15-year-old Jenna Newcomb, 49-year-old postal worker Jay Larson, 23-year-old Jacob Subak, and 63-year-old Ramona Subak. Earlier today, authorities detailed Soto's violent 20-minute spree that began with the deadly stabbing of his longtime friend Jacob Subak and Jacob's mother, Ramona. While investigators say a motive for the attacks is still unclear, authorities say during his confession, Soto blamed his attacks on marijuana laced with some drug that Jacob allegedly gave to him. Soto said he became paranoid after the drug usage. He said he retrieved a knife from the kitchen at Jacob's house and proceeded to stab Jacob and Ramona to death. Authorities say Soto then attacked mail carrier Jay Larson. Witnesses tell police Soto began punching the postal worker before stabbing him and then running over him with his truck more than once. The U.S. Postal Service says Larson delivered mail in the area for 25 years. He didn't just belong to us letter carriers. Jay did not just belong to his immediate family. Jay did not just belong to his union brothers and sisters. Jay lived his life. He worked because he belonged to all of you. Officials say Soto's violent attack continued when he broke into multiple homes, attacking three teenage girls with a bat, killing one of them. Jenna Newcomb's mother says she died protecting her sister and friend. Our community has experienced such unthinkable tragedies this week. Soto was eventually arrested while stabbing his last two victims, a woman he had chased from her home and a good Samaritan who came to her aid. They are both still in the hospital. This as a community struggles to heal. And that's what they were hoping to do is at least today start the process of healing. There are counselors who have been made available to community members so they can share their grief and their pain and in some cases their anger about what has happened. We're also learning that uh, Christian Soto will be heading back to court on Tuesday. We're also learning that a sheriff's deputy who was uh, instrumental in taking uh, Soto into custody was wounded. He's okay and has been released from the hospital. All of this as this community remains on edge and reels from all of the tragedy that's occurred. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.